Jack Haslam, Freddie yeah, Woodward, yeah. and Yona Knight Wisdom. Yeah, Oliver Dingley, can he follow suit? Well, he's got a higher tariff dive than the others to start with. So you get higher up the DDs. Four two and a half somersaults, two twists for the now mm -hmm. Irishman. Oh, very, very nice from Ollie there. Really, really good height on the board. Uh, Ollie opts for the, uh, the hop hurdle step instead of the step in uh, to generate a little bit more height, but 83 points. Wow. Yes, 83. Well, it was a higher degree of difficulty, that's why. But that takes him nine points clear of Yona Knight yeah. Wisdom. Oliver Dingley. His big dives three. Start from round three or whatever. Yeah, it was uh, quite a big dive, a 3.4. This is the lowest tariff dive he has before he gets into the 3.5, 3.8 realm. Back two and a half somersaults for Oliver. So 25. Oh, very nice, Ollie. Very nice. It's a, yeah, a simpler dive. Uh, sometimes struggles with this one, but actually it's really nice what he's done there. He's slightly over-arched on the end. Um, which has pulled his feet over a little bit, but overall, that is a really nice dive, Ollie. And considering it's his lowest tariff dive, that's a good return. And one that he really struggled with this morning as well, so he's done something to turn it around in the afternoon. Fantastic. 3.5. Obviously, that's worth a lot of money. Now, Oliver Dingley has to follow that with exactly the same dive. No pressure, Ollie. <laughs> well, to improve it, you've got to get into the 90s. Yeah, exactly. Oh, not quite as good, but a very valiant effort from Ollie there. He's uh, slightly toes over the end of the board, uh, and he's kicked just a little bit too early. He's worked really well to try and arch it round to get it right, but not quite following it as, uh, as we'd hoped, but still a very good dive. Yeah. Ollie Dingley, one of two doing the four and a half somersaults next, but not this dive. Ooh, very nice, very upright on that dive. Throwing up a little bit of splash, which is quite a shock actually, because it looked like he went in relatively nice. Obviously, something's happened below the water there. Um, maybe quite, didn't, you know, quite didn't get his hands together, maybe, or his arms weren't fully locked. But overall, a very, very pretty dive. Aslam, then Ollie Dingley, then Dan Gafello moving up into third. Freddie's three behind him, and then Yona is five behind him. Ross Haslam is right for the likes of Ollie Dingley because this is the big one, first time you'll see it, you'll see it twice. Let's see Dan Goodfellow do it in three divers time. But first, let's see how well Ollie Dingley does on the high tariff, big tariff. It's, uh, you can get 100 points on this, he nails it. Forward, four and a half. Oh, it's a good dive, very, very good dive. You can see how high he finishes on that. Look at that touch shape. So, so closed. Um, unfortunately, hasn't quite got the entry that maybe he was hoping for. But still, and it's you know, six and a half, seven for the judges, almost 80 points. That's what a front four and a half can do. And uh, it's pretty brutal. And that's where we are. Ollie Dingley, eight point lead over Jack. He's got 18 point advantage over Yona. So, top, looks like top two now, doesn't it? Looks like Ollie against Jack needs 69. 69 on this dive. 69 for the win. Oh, very nice, very nice. I'd be very surprised if that went under 75 points. That was a very nice dive from Ollie there. Yeah, that's nailed it. That's done it. I had him down for the one meter yesterday. Didn't quite come home with that. But so the one, two, three is Oliver Dingley, Jack Haslam, and Ross Haslam. The brackets indicate overseas diver. So we're looking for a British point of view. The Haslam boys one and two, and James Heatley in third.